Broadcast for the first time, this CCTV shows a teenager, samurai sword in hand, heading to Victoria Station. He was one of 26 formers running towards a fight in which 15-year-old Sofian Belamuadin was killed. Immediately, the samurai sword was produced and a variety of other weapons, and there was then what I've described as an infantry charge across Terminus Place. Uh, the group, including Sofian, who were uh, less well-armed in fewer numbers, immediately turned and fled. It was as Sofian tried to make his escape here at Victoria Station that he stumbled and the group caught up with him. Then, in front of hundreds of commuters, they launched a frenzied attack. In just 12 seconds, he was stabbed 10 times and suffered 20 separate injuries. I saw one of the attackers had a kind of a long uh, implement in their hand and they made a kind of a stabbing uh, motion uh, on, the, uh, on the boy who was uh, being attacked. And he was trying to, trying to get himself up uh, off the floor. The day before the attack, the police broke up a fight between the teenagers from rival schools. But using Facebook and instant messenger, they quickly organised another confrontation. The girl seen here is Victoria Osateku. On the day of the attack, she headed to a shop close to her college and filled her pink bag with kitchen knives later used to kill Sofayan. These are the teenagers on a bus before and after the attack. Dozens were to be arrested. This was to be the Metropolitan Police's biggest joint enterprise murder investigation to date. Today, the end of a legal process means this man, Junior Bayode, the last person to be convicted, remains behind bars for manslaughter. These are the faces of the others involved, some convicted of lesser offences and some of murder. All were sentenced to jail terms of two years to life. Sangeeta Maiska, BBC News.